Yeah, uh, scripts in up and down trend tool is available over here under futures menu over here. This is the tool I'll be talking about. Uh, yeah, when latest is selected, you are looking at the live data, that is today's data. And the expiry you select, the near is going to be uh, the nearest expiry, monthly expiry, because this pertains to f futures. So we have this uh, monthly expiries over here. And uh, this is going to be expiry for uh, most likely Nifty. And uh, so any other few futures that have a different expiry, this when you say near, it's going to take the nearest expiry for that. So for Fin Nifty, Mid Cap Nifty, it's going to be different. So it's automatically going to pick up uh, whichever is the nearest expiry. So you can just select near over here. And then the next one is when you click on one day, which is the default uh, or whichever one you have clicked last. So the one day is for intraday data. So basically it's looking at what it does is uh, it takes exact one day data. So if you're looking at it, say at 10.30 in the morning, it's uh, the data taken, considered for uh, uh, ranking the scripts is going to be from previous day 10.30 to today 10.30. So exact one day. If you click three days, if you're looking at three days, then it's going to be uh, three days back to today. So uh, exact 10.30 today and exact three days back from 10.30 that day, whichever day that is. It's same for seven and 15 days. So you're going to be looking at exact these number of dates uh, and the data, the data, that data is going to be used to uh, determine the trend that is going on. And the trend is only the price trend. So I mean, we have given OI change uh, over here, but uh, this is not used. This is there only for information and further analysis, the buildup also. So we are only considering the price only the price is taken and based on this, whatever the trend is for one day over here, we are looking at one day. So that one day based on the trend, so we are computing the trend scores and this is again used on, it's not important, the value itself is not important. It's just used to rank the stocks uh, on the bullish side and bearish side. So the scripts are ranked based on the trend score and uh, whichever ones are on the top, are the ones that have a good trend over here. So the count given here is important. You will see that there are many more stocks than the seven. So uh, many other stocks qualify as uh, being in uptrends, but they may not have a good, decent uptrend. So here it indicates that the top seven scripts are the ones which are in uh, good uptrends based on the number of days you're looking at. And the ones below that, you'll see that the trends may not be that great. And as you go down further, you will see that uh, the all these are going to be just sideways. So the trend is going to be sideways. It's the same. It's going to be the same on the bearish side. Uh, the top ones are going to be here. The count is uh, high. So 22, top 22 are going to be uh, in significantly strong downtrends. Uh, and as you go down after 22, the trends really fall off. The, the trend is not that great. And then as you go to the bottom, you will see that it's sideways. It's going to be sideways. The bottom stocks on both the sides are going to be sideways. And the top ones are going to be actually uh, trending, the bullish or bearish over here. And this count is important. You can, based on the day, whatever uh, whatever number of days you have selected, whatever counts are being shown, that will give you a good idea of what kind of trend overall is going on in the market uh, for uh, those days. So three days uh, says that it's totally bearish. The last three days was totally bearish. So, so there are only three stocks, but even here the trend may not be that great. That is what this is indicating. And whereas uh, the bullish count is very high, so it indicates that lots of stocks are trending down in the last three days. So, so you can similarly look at uh, seven and 15 days. Now here, uh, uh, 
one day you would use typically for intraday trading and uh, you would use 3, 7 and 15 days for positional trades. So what you could do is you could, uh, if you're trading cash, then you could trade uh, on the bullish side only, obviously you'll buy and only if you are seeing that uh, lots of stocks are in bullish and lesser are in bearish, then only then you would go for positional uh, cash buying. And if you go for uh, futures, then you can go both bullish and bearish. So you could you go for long and short futures or you could go for uh, uh, debit spread, credit spreads based on how you want to position yourself uh, based on whatever uh, the trend is going on. So you can, you can do that. Uh, now the idea here is that if you go for 7 15 days you are trading positional the idea is that you would take a bunch of scripts i mean one script within that may or may not continue uh, to go up but the idea general idea is that uh, we are trying to capture momentum here so momentum works on a bunch of stocks not on a single stock so you would uh, carry maybe a bunch of stocks say 10 12 stocks uh, if you're going for cash positional you would buy those bunch of stocks and then as long as they are in trend, you would continue to hold. And then if the trend goes down and it's still bullish, then you, was, you would, based on some criteria, you can decide on some criteria, you would exit stocks that have gone down the list maybe, or maybe they have gone into bearish list. So you would exit those and then whatever are on the top, you would add those. So you, you can probably create a portfolio, momentum portfolio kind of thing using seven, 15 days. But again, it's going to be a short-term portfolio. It's not going to be long-term. So you're capturing short-term momentum, three, seven, 15 days. So that, so probably you will be holding them for a couple of weeks as long as the trend is uh, good. So that would be the idea for uh, using uh, cash. So you would only be obviously buying because you can you can't short uh, uh, and take it for delivery. So that's not allowed in our market. So for that you would have to go for futures, uh, short or short futures, or maybe a call rate spreads or whatever. So you would have to do it in FNO. So that's it for this tool.